Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Brick Brings at Home, where I help busy moms like you create a healthy and organized home. And we're doing some organizing today. I am upstairs in my bonus room, which if you have a bonus room too, you know like it is a multi-functional space that can be used for so many things. I mean, people use bonus rooms in their homes for an extra bedroom or for a workout space, a home office, a movie room, a playroom, and so much more. And we do use our bonus room for a few different things. So in this video, I'm gonna be deep cleaning our bonus room, doing some organizing, giving you guys some tips and ideas for organizing your bonus room and making it work for your family. And I'll be sharing with you what we use our bonus room for. I am doing a little bit of a makeover in this video too. One thing that we use our bonus room for is our home office. And our home office part of our bonus room is getting a makeover and I'm so excited to have a new space to edit my YouTube videos, work on my blog and all those things. So stick around to see what it looks like. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. Come be a part of my community here and be on the lookout for the next video like this one. All right guys, we're gonna get started cleaning and I'm gonna be starting over there with our home gym section of our bonus room. Okay, so this is what the bonus room looks like before. If you watched my attic organization videos, you saw what my attic looked like before, about like that. It was covered in stuff that I needed to get rid of and stuff that we needed to sell in our garage sale. So I got it out of the attic and it was hanging out in the bonus room until it was time for our garage sale. Well, now I cleared all that stuff out. It's in the garage now, ready for the garage sale. So now the bonus room is closed cleared of all that junk, all that clutter. So now it's time to organize. And one more thing that we're moving out of the bonus room is this train table. My boys used to play trains on it all the time, but they've kind of outgrown that. So they're getting rid of the train stuff. We're just putting it in those paper bags and we're putting it along with the other stuff in the garage to sell. And we are converting the train table into a Lego table. So I got these Lego mats from Target and I'm just hot gluing them onto the table. And then those red bins that used to hold all the train stuff, they sit on a rack under the table. We are using those to store their Legos. And we separated all the different colors of Legos into Ziploc bags and and so we're just storing them upright in those red baskets. So that Lego table I took downstairs to my son's bedroom. So it is down there to make it more convenient. So now I'm moving on to the home gym section of our bonus room. <laughs> Okay, so this is our home gym section of our bonus room, this back little corner. And we have these black flooring tiles that we got from Academy Sports and we set them up a few years ago. And this is the first time I'm taking them all apart and straightening them back up. They were looking pretty bad. They were starting to come unattached from each other and moving all around the place. And so the first thing I did was got everything off of the mat, all the weights and everything, and then cleared that flooring and 
vacuumed it all. And then I'm putting the flooring back, connecting all those tiles with each other, fitting them in nicely. So hopefully they will stay better this time. And then I'm also wiping them down. So I'm just spraying each one with my all purpose cleaner and then wiping it with a microfiber cloth. And this is my homemade all purpose cleaner. I have the recipe on my blog, brittbringsathome.com, but I will link to it down below if you wanna go check it out and make it for yourself. It is non-toxic. It doesn't have any harmful chemicals that many household cleaners do have. Many cleaners have ingredients in them that can mess with your hormones. And I have personally experienced hormone imbalance that I'm working through and getting rebalanced. And a huge part of helping rebalance my hormones is using non-toxic products in my home. Cleaner, safer cleaning products and beauty products and candles and all that stuff. So that's why I make my own homemade all-purpose cleaner. Once all the tiles are connected again, then I just start putting everything back and I'm trying to be as careful as I can when I'm putting the equipment back on the mats to not like drag it across and mess the tiles back up. So I'm like lifting the things and carrying them and setting them down where they go. And then I'm also going through and wiping down that gym equipment that I'm sure has sweat and stuff on it. So it needed a cleaning. So I'm wiping all of that down. And now I'm just straightening up in this basket. And here I have some resistance bands and some papers from physical therapy, some different exercises that I was doing. So I'm just straightening all this stuff up, folding those papers, putting it all back in there nice and neatly. I have those things in my basket and then I have a few dumbbells. I'm letting you go. This time I know it for sure. Just thought I should let you know. Now, no one's no more, no. So high on a low That's when I love you the most Now I thought I should let you know Yeah And then I'm moving on to the middle section of our bonus room where we have these two bookshelves and the media stand. And we honestly don't watch TV up here very much. I pretty much just use that TV for playing workout videos. And then in the media stand there, I keep things for my Etsy shop. I make homemade body butter, which I don't have it on my Etsy shop anymore just cause it takes kind of a lot of time to make it and ship it and all that stuff. So I took the body butter off my shop for now. I may put it back on at some point. Right now on my Etsy shop, all I have are printables. So like cleaning schedules, packing checklists, chore charts, all kinds of printables to help you stay organized and help you maintain a healthy and organized home. So here I am straightening up all these packing supplies. I had some body butter on the bottom shelf of one of those bookcases, but I'm moving it inside the media cabinet and I have some empty jars below it in the middle section 
collection, I have all of my packing supplies. So I'm just straightening all that out, putting like my craft and crinkle paper inside that gray bin to help keep it in place and make it look a little bit nicer. And then I just dusted everything. The TV I wiped down. I just put a few squirts of my all-purpose cleaner onto my microfiber cloth instead of on the TV directly. And then just wiped it down good and then dusted that TV stand and the picture frames and everything that that are on it and next i'm moving on to the bookshelves we keep moving like the river goes baby going down 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 baby going down 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 and i thought it's time i'm letting you go this time i know it for sure just thought i should let you know already have the bookshelves organized. I just did change them up a little bit just because in the past year since the last time I've organized this I have gotten more books and so it needed a little straightening up. So what I'm doing is for each shelf I'm grabbing a stack of books and taking them off and dusting that space that it was in. Again just with my all-purpose cleaner spraying it onto my cloth and wiping it down and then I'm putting the books back and I'm looking through the books and if there's any ones that we don't want any Anymore. like we've already read and we don't think we're gonna read it again or we just don't think that we're gonna read them at all we didn't like them or if we had doubles of something then I'm setting it aside to get rid of and I have my books organized two different ways by subject and also in alphabetical order of the author so on the top shelf of this bookshelf I have devotionals and so all my devotionals are in alphabetical order by the author's last name and then on the next shelf I have some marriage books Books, and then parenting and then I have Bibles and then on the next shelf underneath that I have health related books I'm currently working towards my holistic health coach certification so I just recently got a bunch of books that I will be reading and studying for that program so that's where they go and then I had some like hobby related books like home decor and like woodworking and gun drawing and stuff for my husband and I'm gonna be moving that over to the other bookshelf on the bottom shelf of this bookshelf I'm putting like my photo albums and I have them in chronological order and then I have two boxes that have other photos that aren't in an album some of these I will definitely be organizing more and creating a photo album for them later so now I'm moving on to the other bookshelf and on this bookshelf I have fiction first of all we don't have a lot of fiction we don't read a lot of fiction we read mostly like self-help kind of books books, finance books, marriage and parenting and devotional books, things like that. But I do have a little bit of fiction. So again, I'm putting that in alphabetical order of the author's last name. I have a lot of books by the author Karen Kingsbury. So those ones, since they're all by the same author, I'm kind of grouping together in the order that they go because there are several series. So I'm putting the books that go in a series in order. And then on the next shelf, I'm putting some nonfiction ones that are like kind of biographies or autobiographies, books that are about people. And then after that, I'm putting all of our finance, investing related books, again, in alphabetical order of the author's last name. And then on the third shelf, I have some more like business related books and those like hobby kind of books that were on the other shelf before. And then on the very bottom, I have some notebooks and then that's where I keep my stationery. So in that plastic container, I have all of my cards and I group my cards by the type that they are. So I have all of my Christmas cards, Valentine's Day cards, birthday cards, Father's Day, Mother's Day, all that stuff. I put them kind of in order of how it goes in the year. And then I put all of our envelopes in that basket. And then the last thing in this middle section of our bonus room, we have our couch for whenever we do like sit down and watch TV up here, which again is hardly ever. But I did clean off that couch. I took the cushions off and vacuumed underneath and then vacuumed the tops of the cushions as well. And then I'm just 
going back through and vacuuming the whole floor in this section before I move on to my home office makeover. <laughs> excited to have this new desk. I had that old wooden desk that was just one that you sit in and I get tired of just sitting and doing my work. I like to switch it up and stand some and sit some and you know just take breaks from either one. I like to have the option and go back and forth between both of them and I wanted a desk that could support that and like I said my other desk I got tired of sitting all the time so what I did I stacked a bunch of books on top of each other and and raise my computer on top of them to make it into a standing desk. But then it was kind of annoying. If I did want to sit down, I would have to take all those books away and everything. So I just usually kept it as standing. But I love this desk because it can do both. So it is electronic. You plug it into the outlet and it has different settings. You get three different presets, just like, you know, your car. When you get in your car, you might have settings that automatically adjust to different drivers. This desk, you know, you can press one, two, or three and adjust it to whatever height you have it set at. So I made my three settings for three different things. So number one is for standing. Number two is for sitting and like working at my computer. And then number three is also for sitting, but it's a little bit higher. It's like for when I'm reading a book, I don't want to have to bend my head way down and look down at the book. So I raised it up a little bit higher. So yeah, I have those three different settings and I can choose whichever one I want based on what I'm doing and how I'm feeling. And then there's also like the up and down arrows. So you don't have to choose like one of the presets. You can go up and down as you need to. So it's awesome. I absolutely love it. It's going to help so much with like preventing that tech neck, that stiffness and pain that a lot of people get, including myself. I have had in my neck and my back and my shoulders. It's really important when you're working at a computer that your desk is ergonomically correct. You're able to look straight ahead at your screen instead of bending your neck down or up to look at it and that your arms are like straight out in front of you. So this desk is perfect for that. And I also like the colors a lot. I did want to brighten this space up instead of having that dark desk with the dark walls and everything. I wanted something lighter and brighter. So I love that this one is white and like like a washed white wood laminate on top. So the first thing I did was get everything out of my old desk. I cleared that old desk out of the way and put my new desk where I wanted it. I wanted it kind of catty corner so I could see out the window and down the stairs whenever I'm working.
So my desk is all set up with the different presets and I did put a command strip on one of the legs where I can like wind up the cord and hang it on so that I don't have to have it plugged in all the time and it won't look, you know, kind of tacky with cords everywhere. I can kind of hide it when I'm not needing to, you know, adjust my desk up and down. And I got some cute little decor items from Hobby Lobby. I got that gold tray that I just set some little decorations on, a little plant and little wooden photo thing and my body butter. And I have my blue light blocking glasses on there. And then on the other side of my computer, I have a lamp and a little vase and then a little glass pen holder. And what I used to use my office here was for online teaching. So that's especially why I wanted to have a standing desk was because I would teach there for like five hours at a time, many mornings, and I got tired of just sitting. And plus when I'm standing, I'm more energetic as a teacher. That's why I had stacked the books on top of each other and made a standing desk. I no longer do online teaching. So I had the map on the wall that was like my background that kids could see and then that whiteboard I could draw on but I no longer need that map so I took that down and then on that four tier cart I did use that to store all my teaching supplies but obviously I don't need all that anymore so since the desk does not have any drawers in it I'm using this cart to store like my office supplies so on the top shelf I'm putting that little five drawer organizer where I have rubber bands at the top and then pencils and then different kinds of markers and then I also have those little pink and blue containers that have like paper clips and push pins and things like that and then on the next shelf I have some more office supplies like my hole puncher and scissors and then on the third shelf I have camera equipment so my camera for filming my videos and my extra batteries and SD cards and cleaning supplies and all that stuff for my camera equipment and then on the last shelf is some of my husband's stuff he has a carpet cleaning business so there we have some of like his business cards and other things for his business and I will be sure to link to that cart down below I actually have two of them I have this one and then we have one downstairs in our dining room that we use as an art cart I homeschool my kids and we have lots of art supplies and school supplies and so we use that to store those things and if you want to see how I organize that one you can check out my dining room organization video and I will link to that down below and then I'm hanging some things up on the wall just to make it look a little cuter and a little more me since I'm pretty much the only one that uses this office and I'm really loving like the pink and white and gray and green so I'm adding a little bit of color and a little bit of you know personality to the space by hanging some things on the wall so I'm hanging a letter board where I made the phrase faith over fear which I absolutely love. I am a Christian. I do believe in God and I believe it's so important to have faith and trust in God, especially during this time that we're living in with the virus going on and everything. Instead of being afraid of what might happen, it's important to just have faith in God and just trust in him that he will take care of us. There's no point living in fear. Fear does not accomplish anything. It just drags us down and can contribute to all kinds of problems. Problems, health problems from worry and anxiety and so yeah I just encourage you to just let go of that fear and give it to God and just have faith and trust in him and then I also have that pink sign that says make good use of today so all we have right now is today we don't know what tomorrow holds we can't worry about what we did or didn't get done yesterday that doesn't matter anymore just focus on one day at a time just today and in fact even just focus on one minute at a time don't worry about the past don't worry about what's going to happen in the future. Just live in the moment and try to make the best use of today and the best use of this minute that you can. And then I also have that little mirror just because I thought it was cute. And I like the little gold accents too. And now I'm just going through and organizing those two filing cabinets and they don't match. I wish they did, but we got them at two totally different times. In the white one, that is my husband's for his business. And so I did go through 
through and took out like bank statements, like old bank statements from previous years. And I did kind of already go through this before when we were getting ready for our taxes. So anything that was from 2020, electric bills, doctor bills, all those things, we put in a folder and used a lot of it for our taxes. So if it was used for our taxes, we have it in a folder and I have them filed in the bottom drawer of that white cabinet. And then some things like bank statements we don't need anymore. And so I put those in a pile to have my husband burn. And then in the wooden one, that's our household things. So in the bottom drawer there, we have like our personal bank statements, our cell phone bills, our vehicle payments, receipts for things that we might need to return or might need to you know file on our taxes, all kinds of things. So I did go through and got rid of some things that I don't think we need. Anything from previous years, it's already been filed. So what's in here is just bills and papers from 2021. And then in the top drawer, I have paper, regular printer paper, and then also cardstock. And I just went through and organized that by color. So I have the white paper first, and then it goes through the colors with the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And by the way, I did already deep clean some of this. At the beginning of the year, I did clean like all the walls and baseboards in my whole house and all the fans and everything. So that's already been done. So I'm just kind of spot cleaning a little bit, especially the baseboards that can gather dust on top of them. I'm cleaning those and then I am just finishing off by vacuuming the rest of the room and the stairs. And that's it for my office makeover and my bonus room organization. So I hope this provided you with some motivation to go up to your bonus room if you have one. See what you can do to make it more functional for your family. Bonus rooms can be like a collection of mismatchy stuff just because it's a bonus room and it's not a specific bed room or family room or office or whatever. Give it a specific function or like I did in ours in a few different sections. If you do use it for multiple things, kind of have it separated by sections. Just like we have our gym and our kind of library area and then our home office. Let me know if you do go organize your bonus room and how you have your bonus room organized. I'd love to know. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and come back for my next video next week. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.